While there are many processes where modular spectroscopy can be used, we'd like to discuss plastics recycling in more detail. Have you ever wondered what happens to the plastic bottles and containers that you recycle? We're going to give you an example here showing how modular spectroscopy can be used in one of the very initial stages of the plastic recycling process. In our plastic sorting line, we're using Raman and NIR to monitor the plastics as they come into the recycling plant. We're using these techniques to ensure that we separate the different resins from one another. This is a very critical step in the recycling process. For the NIR measurements, we're using a flame near and a tungsten halogen light source, making a reflection measurement from the plastic pieces as they're passing by on our process line. The flame near is a great option for manufacturers because this is a low cost NIR spectrometer. For the Raman measurements, we're using the Ventana Raman spectrometer with a 785 laser. The Ventana is a high throughput spectrometer, which is a great option for process control because it enables you to acquire your data very quickly. As we've shown you in this example, which is only a very small part of the plastics recycling process, modular spectroscopy is a very powerful tool for manufacturers. It gives them the ability to reduce waste, to make their process more efficient, and to ensure that the product that comes out is the product that they truly need. To learn more about this and other applications, visit us online at oceanoptics.com.